<clears throat> Master Wayne, what? Is this a good time? <sighs> I guess. I don't know if you've been following the news, but the COVID-19 pandemic is increasing in severity. So... And I think it's about time that you took the government guidelines a little more seriously and started to self-isolate properly. Alfred, please. Crime doesn't just take a day off just because the world is in lockdown. I know, Master Wayne, but this is a problem of international importance, and I think you would be wise to self-isolate, seeing as well. You know. Know what? Well, your lot kind of started this whole thing. My lot? Well, your people. Your... Bats, okay? Bats. Bats are the whole reason that this started, and I think it sends the wrong kind of message if you continue to go out, potentially being a carrier of the virus, even if you're not exhibiting the symptoms yourself. Alfred, look, I'm perfectly fine. And while I'm fit and well, I'm going to protect the citizens of Gotham and keep the peace while people like Joker and Penguin are upholding their reign of terror, knowing that the citizens are at their most vulnerable. Oh, Master Bruce, I do admire your strength and courage in the pursuit of justice. However, might I then suggest a few precautionary changes then, just to lower your risk of catching or spreading the virus? Well, I'm sure we can reach some sort of a compromise. Okay then, well, the first thing to address is your mask. My mask? Yes, your mask, sir. What's wrong with my mask? Well, you see, sir, for starters, it covers all the wrong places. It covers here, here, and the top of your nose. Your nostrils, eyes, and mouth are totally exposed, which is where the viral droplets land and cause the infection. Might I suggest, if you insist on wearing the mask, that you wear a surgical mask over your mouth just to prevent the contagion? What? Alfred, no, I'm not wearing a paper mask over my face. I'll be the laughing stock of Gotham. Riddler will never let me live that down. No, no, quite right. That was sort of a, a thrown together suggestion, pardon me. But I have been working on some others. Uh, if you just take a look at my sketchbook um, and pick one out that you might like, just give it back to me and I'll start working on it so that you can be both fashion forward and safe the next time you fight crime. Alfred, no. My top half of my face is kind of the signature, Batman. If I do something on the bottom, Bane will think I just copied him. I'm not saying copy Bane, I'm just saying that, well, he's, he's kind of onto something. It provides a huge amount of protection, and I think we could take a leaf out of his book just for once, just to adapt to the current situation. I don't know if I should say it in here, but, um, wouldn't hurt to take some inspiration from the guys over at MCU. MCU, what's that? The Marvel Cinematic Universe? Oh, don't spit, Master Bruce, you're spreading germs! Well then, don't mention them in here. How dare you mention th those Marvel guys in this DC Universe? I do apologize sincerely, Master Bruce, but I mean, look at them! Their masks are impenetrable! Look at Iron Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Deadpool. <laughs> Will you desist? Master Bruce, if you are not taking the situation more seriously, or at least trying to adapt to what is going on out there by picking another mask, I will have no other option than to keep you here under lock and key until the situation subsides, or until you can prove to me that you are taking this seriously. Some crises require us to go out into battle and to fight the enemy head on. You might think it is cowardly or weak to be staying indoors, but this is a different kind of fighting against a different kind of enemy. For a greater good that is much bigger than ourselves. Alfred, you're right. I'm so sorry. It just... I don't know what I was thinking. And one more thing. Just because we're on lockdown and all your friends are not at work doesn't mean you can invite your Justice League chums over and have a big party. Now, I won't be cross, but just tell me if any of them are still here and kindly ask them to leave so that I can give the manor a thorough clean. 
Right, guys, party's over. You heard the man. Thank you, Master Bruce. If you'd like to come this way, please, thank you. Clark, lovely to see you. Ah, uh, Lois, see you in three months. Oh, Flash. <laughs> Wait, who is that? Pangolin girl. <coughs> <coughs>